The sun rose over Kyiv on the fourth day of the Russian invasion. The city is resisting severely in each district. Russian terrorists started increasingly shooting civilians on purpose. The occupiers killed the whole families. The victims are in the capital, Novakakhovka, all over Ukraine. Russian murderers can't fight the army and choose women and children as target. The occupiers attack infrastructure and residential objects with cruise missiles and heavy artillery. In Bucha, Kyiv region, Russians tried to shoot the houses from automatic weapons. Right now, the terrorists are under attack. People managed to stop the military convoy with Molotov cocktails. 30 vehicles are receiving Ukrainian welcome. Russian citizens, if you don't stop this war, you are accomplice and abettors of the serious war crimes, crimes against peace and humanity, unleashing and waging an aggressive war, massacres of civilians, use of weapons of mass destruction and weapons prohibited by international law. One more missile rocket was shot from Belarus territory in the direction of Kyiv. It was downed by the Ukrainian air defense. Putin's ally Lukashenko confirmed that his country attacked Ukraine. Another brutal war crime today in Sumer region. Russian tanks shot the bus with civilians. They don't let the medics help the wounded and mind the land around. Right now, all over the world, people demand from NATO to support Ukraine, close the sky over the country, send the NATO peacekeeping troops, provide more military aid. Brave Ukrainians fight the enemy all over the country, and the losses of Russian terrorists are huge. The train with oil supplies didn't manage to reach Russian tanks. Russian military convoys are burning. Ukrainian people even kicked the invaders with bare hands. The murderers themselves started looting. The surveillance camera in one of the shops captured Russians stealing food. President Zelensky addressed all citizens of the world. Anyone who wants to join the defense of Ukraine can come and fight side by side with Ukraine against the Russian war criminals.